Okay, Betsy, where are we today? Universal Studios. Oh! We're at the City Walk right now. Different location for us, but we're pretty excited. I know. We don't get to go here a lot. Yeah. Pretty silent though, so what you gonna do? All right, Yummy. we got lunch time. Yeah. We're in Cletus's chicken shack. So my parents who love Cletus, is, this one's for you guys. Okay, what are we looking for? Okay, we're gonna look for the house of the little man of Disneyland. The little man of Disneyland? Yes. It was first in a book in 1955. Okay. Bagora is his name. Patrick Bagora? Yes. What a name. Where do we think it could be? So this is the little leprechaun's house. Yep. Patrick Bagora. And this is not the original, it's the second one, right? Okay. They used to have one and then they rebuilt it. Okay.
there's the monorail. You know, we uh, heard a good story about why there's a monorail in Disneyland when we went to the Family Museum. Where uh, I don't even remember this. I think it was Raleigh Crump who talked about this. Uh, Walt and his wife Lily uh, were on vacation in Germany, and they were, you know, on a highway or an autobahn or whatever. Uh, and it just happened to be the perfect timing where they were stuck in traffic, and over their heads goes a monorail. Wow! And Walt got out of the car and chased down the monorail. That's Eventually crazy. Eventually, ran into some, you know, operators of the monorail, and who knows if they knew English or what. <laughs> but it was like. So taken by it, as he was with a lot of transportation, that that's why we have a, a monorail in Disneyland. Wow. Because they were pretty, you know, it was one of the first in America, maybe the first. I think it was the, so. well, I don't know when Seattle got there, but I think it was maybe yeah. the first. My mom would know that one, I guess. So, leave a comment. Pretty cool. So, one of the things that I accidentally did, and this is why I'm not allowed to have nice things, is in our wonderful mini fridge here. I turned the temperature up too high and froze all of our water, including my beautiful coconut water that managed to kind of explode a little bit. But I think it's still drinkable, so we will be having this for breakfast, just as a very cool looking can. Yeah, this has got a swollen bum, like a monkey or something. <laughs>